so my single chats and toxic gamers today is judgment day we're gonna be checking out all the top best fps games that are coming out this year get your overclock keywords ready because it is judgment day the first game that we have on the list is called contain coming out on january 16 2024 let's check out if these games hold up if these games can give call of duty battlefield a real challenge if these games do not give we're gonna call in for the clown uh, and uh, let's get into it guys you don't have to like or subscribe we're gonna dive right into it get ready for the next game we got a bunch of games we got approximately 28 and this is at the number 28 spot i truly hope that we get at least three good games out of it comment your favorite game in the comments as well damn i'm getting a little bit of uh gulag vibes as well especially from the night shots holy this one got that big ass shipment vibe though what are we thinking boys get your overclock keyboards out get your toxic gamer out boys oh yeah not bad not bad i would say kind of odd damn god some black ops 2 vibes as well god modern warfare 19 what are the call of duty refugees thinking <laughs> What are the Call of Duty refugees thinking, man? Get ready for the next game that's coming up right after this one, guys. I think you're gonna love it. Damn, it got extension wipes. So this game is called Contain. Okay, honestly, not bad. What are what are we rating this? Music's bad. I, I gotta say, like, it doesn't have that, that hype music. And I know not every game needs a hype music, but you know what I mean, right? Like, we talking FPS games here, so if you really want to grab the masses, then... Wait, what the hell? What the hell? So this one is at number 27. Wait for the next game as well, guys. This is a massive list, man. Massive list. Okay, everything is fine. Calm down, Adrian. You have to be quiet. Okay, what this game is called? What's the... So Death Relieves. Shit. My guy got no plans. My boy got plan on his hand, bruh. What are we thinking? Oh god damn. Yo, that Fuck. that reminds me of Blunder Gag from Mob of the Dead. Damn, that looked good. Yo! What the hell? What is he doing? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yo, banger, snoozer. You got the erectile dysfunction. What are we thinking, boys? What are you thinking about it? So, invisible? You got invisible enemies, too. Oh, my God. So, like, FPS horror survival. Damn, I did not see this gameplay before. Okay, that was only number 27. Okay, so this is on 26, 26. Disaster. Pioneer, PS5, Xbox, PC. Rotten legacy of hopes we left there long ago. Now you are an open wound, infested and endangering life. It reminds me of that game that, that some of the Ukrainian devs were working on. Stalker 2, right? To preserve everything still left. Holy. Expedition will carry on. Okay, not bad, not bad. can be nominally divided into two parts. The left one is where people have established their settlements. New communities appear there, as well as new trade routes and conflicts. This is where the main storyline unfolds, and PV locations are situated. You will start here. This part of Pioneer is an adventure game with minimum MMO elements. We put a lot of efforts in our level design and use the best practices of narrative in dialogues. <laughs> you what? Moreover, we've created a special game mode where other players cannot interfere with you or your Okay, party honestly play. good. Uh, oh, yes, I like quests the quests can be completed single-handedly or with friends. You can even have a dialogue with an NPC as a body. Explore the regions and gather info about the world and its mysterious past. Rest in any of the settlements, Damn. spending time in bars or playing mini games. It's an MMO, Trade right? For resources and try to gather as much as you can. Okay, honestly, Pioneer very good. I like it. I like it. I like it. And after each level, I love the concept of it. Skill points to spend on upgrading your character. 
This can make playing easier, but without Got zombies, okay? Build, you won't have that big of an advantage on the battlefield. Yes, your armor and weapons itself are quite more important. Upgrading and efficiently using your equipment Yo, this is already is a actually this is already a, a so much better list in comparison to the last episode that we've done and we saw, right? Because a ton of those games were like World War II shooters. Obviously, there were some good games and I definitely recommend you checking out like other episodes as well. Uh, but this is like F best FPS games part two, kind of. We've done like single player games, most badass games, realistic games. So definitely check out the entire series Needs on the guns. channel. One for killing monsters and another for punishing teammates or rarely other players. You can enhance your weapons or modify your equipments on the workbench. You got crafting. Every step of it consumes resources. Weapons can be modified more comprehensively by upgrading a submachine gun to a machine gun, for example. You got some World War II guns as well. By just adding modules which increase your weapon okay. stats on the move. Upgrading the most interesting and powerful equipment demands unique blueprints uh -huh. and resources. And that's the catch. The rarest of the loot can be found only on the right part of the yeah, island. Honestly, I'm... The right part of the Pioneer Island consists of two regions, the Midlands and Shadowland. Yeah, I, I'm speechless, bro. I, I really do like the look of it. I really like it. I really like the way it's looking, and this one is called Atomic Heart. Yo, I heard a lot about this game, actually, but never really seen it. Got that, a little bit of the Fortnite vibe to it. In a good way, in a good way. What would you, what would you say? Uh, right? Not bad, not bad. But the real question here is this, right? When is the next Battlefield game is gonna... Holy, holy. I love it. It, it got a little bit of the Fall Guys uh, feel to it as well. In some of the mobile games uh, feel as well, you, especially the, you know, the games where you're running and you're just moving yourself, like sur uh, subway surfers, kind of. But honestly, the real question here is this, when is the next Battlefield game coming out? Because recently the game, you know, the devs are talking about it, their investor call is coming up as well, and they have teased their next engine as well, which is, which is gonna be Frostbite uh, as well. Because right now the FPS scene is ridiculously dry the only good game is the finals this one is called chasmel chasmel fear if that's no, that's how you pronounce it is it really coming out only on pc or did i miss it do you call it a chasmel fear or chasmel you so far i didn't even have to use this you, you know what i mean Bruh. i'm just using it for the sake of using it i'm not saying this game is bad the game is looking good i so want to use it but it's good that I I, I don't have the need to use it because the games are looking looking kind of odd But at the end of the day it comes down to are you buying the game or not buying the game And so far I would say the only game I can see myself get Is that uh, the pioneer game the pioneer so far so far so far A lot of these are like Horror games yo damn it reminds me of that that moon zombies from black ops 1 Yo, tell me it does not remind you of that. Holy. It has to be VR. Okay, okay. Back, back, back. I hope it doesn't have skill-based management, man. Bruh. If it has skill-based management, it is chalk. You got a big ass megalodon or shark? So what are you like under, underwater or something? Okay, gotta be only PC, man. That's that's a sad reality. So this one is coming on PC later to consoles called Den of Wolves 2024. Reset the procedure. Continued neuro prodding may severely damage the suspect. Reset the procedure. Yes, standing by. Eject. I'm Mr. Bowman. Your subconscious was just spilling the beans about your recent Akajima district break. Yeah, it looks like a Let's single player game. Huh. Okay, first game where I would say kind of mid, but. But maybe not. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god. I will get what I want. Yeah, first game, boys, where... 
What were you looking for? A key. A key to what? A lot of these games are really like horror survival. It's not what, Mr. Bowman. But FPS style it's horror. Who? Oh my guy. Like oh my guy, what's up? You're caught in the den of wolves. Eh? Okay, first game where I would. First game where I would do that. First game I would do that. So this one is called Lost Fragment. Yeah, we've seen this one before. So this one is coming rumored. Get ready for the next game as well. This one is... It's it's made in Unreal Engine 5. FPS game, but horror. I love horror games, don't get me wrong. But I play none of them. Bruh. Just watch it on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the most realistic looking game to the point where I don't even think if it's gonna come out. I think it's just for the display just for you to watch and that's it yeah 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 we need an actual fps game that is like call of duty and battlefield or like the finals as well let's throw that in the example no skill based mastering technically x define is coming out soon this one is called gray zone warfare we talked about it recently as well we talked about it recently, and the, the the only problem with this game is that it's like an extraction, realistic, milsom kind of shooter. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, uh, obviously, it's targeting that type of audience, and nothing wrong with that. But the, the sad reality is that it's not going to hit everybody, right? Because if you make your games uh, extraction like that, there's only a small audience that plays your game. Not Not necessarily small. Small in comparison to when we look at games like call of duty uh because call of duty is the most casual friendly game out there not so much anymore but it used to be it still kind of is with their skill based match and it's just uh the hardcore fans are always disappointed i guess the, the the casuals love it but i would like to assume that even the casuals are not loving modern warfare 3 the way they they might have loved uh the older games once you know yeah, it's the only. Th this is the only thing. It's like super slow. But if they were to keep the game how it is, like what they're they're showing, yeah, do that. And on top, have team deathmatch, and in small game modes as well, where you you cut sections of the map that you already made. It's gonna attract so many more people, bro. Like Gray Zone Warfare, you guys can absolutely kill it. You, uh, graphics looking good as well. Guns looking good. This one is called Red Sunrise. Sadly, only on PC. We gotta wait for the next one, boys. Okay, let's... We gotta do it, man. Because if it's PC only, then... Man, it's gonna be infested by cheaters. Let's be real. Okay, my god. <laughs> Yo, look at that. Yo, his face... Yeah, the, uh, the, the the facial models are not, not up to par. But that's okay. That's alright. This is why you wear a mask. This is why you wear a mask, bruh. This is exactly why you wear a mask, bruh. It all, it's, it's all down to the gameplay, 110%. Graphically, the game as a whole, not bad. Gunplay, very good. Music selection, very bad for the promotion to attract people. But at the end of the day, like, you know, if you're playing the game and the game is fun, that's all that matters. No recoil, goddamn. But I like the guns, I, I do like the guns. Thoughts? Looks good, but probably a no buy, let's be real. That's, uh, yeah, the sad reality is that a lot of these projects are made by indie devs and passionate fans and f respect, full-on respect from from me and uh, from a lot of people as well. But the sad reality is that they, they don't know how to market the game because obviously they, they're, they're, it's not their job. I mean, if you're an indie dev, right? Like, you got to work so much uh, crap. You got to work on so much stuff. Games, sound design, everything. Marketing the game, making trailers and everything too. Um, yeah, you really cannot compare that with somebody like Call of Duty and Activision because they got multi-billion. It's a multi-billion dollar company. They have a separate department for marketing, completely separate department for Warzone, Zombies, Multiplayer. Everything is separate. And this game is called Ill. I'm looking forward to it but what i'm hearing from the comment section it's gonna be one of those things right like do not believe everything you hear on the internet but i'm believing it regardless Bruh. in the comments people are saying that this project is 
not moving that much. Meaning that it's closer to being halted, but not entirely. Damn, mama throwing brick at me. God damn. Hey, yo, chill, pal. Oh, damn, son. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, that the project has slowed down quite a lot. Is that... Yeah, new game. Instinction rumored for fall 2024, PC only. So this is like the ARC 2... <laughs> ARC 2? 2. <laughs> Bruh. Kind of, right? Damn, we got big-ass dinosaurs up in this biatch. Crocodile? Yo, where is ARC 2? Uh, where is ARC 2? Uh, in the last episode, I, was, uh, I touched on it as well. Arc 2 it has Vin Diesel for the family. One last ride, guys. And speaking of one last ride, when is the next fa uh, Fast and Furious movie coming out? Bruh. Man, honest to God, bro. I was ridiculously disappointed watching uh, Fast and Furious, and that's coming from a fan. I love the Fast and Furious saga, bruh. I love that game. I love the movies, man. Not the game. Not the game. The game was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the game was so bad to the point where I, I believe Young Ya made 20 billion videos on it. <laughs> Bruh. Young Ya stocks were huge when that game came out because the game was so bad. This one is called Angerfoot. Okay. Kinda has that Hi Fi Rush vibe. Or maybe not. I, I did not play Hi Fi Rush, but I watched it and. A little bit, right? Just a little bit. It's as though like Fortnite in first person mode. A little bit of Borderlands vibe as well. But I I'm a fan of uh, Fast and Furious, guys. And the last movie sucked massive D. I hope the next movie is good, but let's be real. It's not gonna be. The problem, man, the franchise used to be so good. I would say till like Fast and Furious 7, the franchise was actually lit. But after that, it just, oh, damn. We got Mama with Mommy Milkers, Outpost, Infinity Siege, February 2024. Oh, shit, it's coming out next month, but PC only. Oh man, mega lol, bro. Man, come on, man. I, I don't want to disappoint the. I don't want to offend the PC masters. Y'all are, y'all are crazy too. But like, we need these games on on console too, bro. Like, why every game gotta be on on PC, bro? Uh, wait for the next game, I guess. I gotta say, let's wait for the next one. Next. And again, the background music is just doesn't hit doesn't hit i guess I, i'm sold on the pioneer boys the one that we saw earlier if you're skipping around the video and you just heard me say and you did not see pioneer we we had that earlier definitely check that out man I, I would say probably one of the best uh from the list so far but after all the video <laughs> we still got a movie ahead boys we still got a lot of games ahead yeah got that 2d vibe yeah it gives me mobile game vibes man Man, the FPS scene is dry as hell, bro. The FPS <laughs> scene is dry as hell. We say that every time, but guys, like, it's it's true. It's true. That's why we say it. That's why we say it. And I got hiccups as well. If this project was given to Activision, bro, I swear to God, man, the marketing would have been insanely good. They would have made this game look like Call of Duty 2050 or something like Bruh. that. It's all about the marketing, which is the sad reality. This is why a lot of people are deceived. Or this is why a lot of people are uh, <laughs> deceived into buying games, pre-ordering games. Look at what happened with the day before. That game sucked so bad, but it sold well, uh, you know, still for an indie project. And then they... They cancelled it, they gave everybody refund, at least that's what they said. I'm not sure if they actually gave or not. I would like to believe they did. Okay, good selection of music. Got gameplay sound, that's good. Okay, this one better than the other one. Yo, kinda has that Call of Duty Ghost vibe. Why am I getting that? Because if you remember, Call of Duty Ghost has a, had a pre-order bonus map. Holy. Okay. Reminds me of Call of Duty 4. Firing range as well. Damn, that's a that's a sick ass firing range. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Graphically speaking, not the best, but I would say this game is mid. When I say mid, I mean not trash, not good. 
Uh, it's all right. You know, it's all right. Uh, I, I know nowadays when you say mid, you're like, that's a death offense, right? Because you cannot say mid. Because if you say a game is mid, that means that you're saying it's trash. I literally mean it's mid, okay? I really do mean it's mid. It's not a 10 out of 10. It's not a banger, okay? And this game, I feel like I've seen it before. Wait, what? What's this? Uh, this it's called Clockwork Revolution. A miracle of progress. A finely tuned, delicately balanced machine. How is but this an FPS game, bro? One rebellious little gear to ruin everything. If you resist my rule. Ah, okay. Ah. If you. Ah, okay, we see why it's an FPS game. If you threaten what I have built. Oh, damn. You got a strong independent boss? There is nowhere in space or time where I will not destroy you. Yeah, it got that borderline vibe, you know? Oh my god, you got a big ass. Yo, it looks like that, that, that weapon can be in Call of Duty Zombies. Control the future. Didn't we have a game like that, oh, no. similar to this? What did I do? It was, it, it was similar to a battle royale game, actually. Uh, it, it did well, I believe, in the very beginning, uh, but then it flopped, and now we don't even hear it no more. And I don't even remember the name. That's that, that's why. Clockwork Revolution. Uh, okay, for Clockwork, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do it. Like, yeah, that's like below mid. We got the Resky game. It could come on console, probably not gonna, let's be real. If you're gonna say it's gonna come on console, it's probably not gonna come. It got an unknown name on the on the timeline, on the chapters. Oh my god. It got a little bit of that slow-mo Max Payne kind of vibe. What's what about Max Payne? We we did hear that Max Payne 1 and 2 are are, are being remade, right? That uh, that Rockstar Games actually gave the project off to Remedy. And we heard nothing, and it's been about approximately, uh, I would say, closer to two years. Got a bit of that Matrix vibe as well, Matrix demo. Yeah, I would say kind of. Next, next. So far, none of these games will beat Call of Duty, guys. I know not every game's objective is to beat Call of Duty, but every game objective is to be fun and attract the most amount of players. And, and keep in mind, these are FPS games. I would say like if, if your game is FPS and horror, then that's a different genre. Then you're not attracting um, necessarily the Call of Duty refugees. You can certainly attract Call of Duty players, but not like refugees, right? Because the Call of Duty refugees, they're really looking for a new home. They're really looking for a new game and so far, none of these games are gonna carry uh, the Call of Duty refugees, man. As sad as it might sound, and we got another one of these games with the somber ass music. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing this before in, uh, in the other video. Yeah, it starts off slow, and then what? Yeah, I want to see the top three games as well. Yeah, I'm curious about the top three because the top three are usually where it's at. Now go downstairs to the basement and lock the door. Don't open the door to anyone. Oh damn! Yeah, another uh, horror survivor. A lot of horror survivor actually. Oh yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. Weapon sounds good, but we need like high action gameplay too, bro. Come on, man. Pine Harbor, mega lol. In the in the last video, I did, I did like it. I did like it because they did show a little bit more, uh, or maybe not. Uh, yeah, I want to see some high action gameplay. And this is called Stalker 2. Holy, okay, I did not see this. 
Oh my god, I did not see this. Yeah, we were talking about it earlier, Stalker 2. So this one is being made by some Ukrainian devs, and I guess it's an Xbox exclusive. And PC as well, right? Yeah, Xbox and PC. Xbox and PC. Xbox, Xbox. It's not gonna be on the Sony Ponies, boys. But recently there was a rumor that came out. There is a rumor, ladies and gentlemen. I made a video on it, but again, it's a rumor. And that rumor is saying that Phil Spencer is looking to bring Xbox exclusives on Nintendo and also on PlayStation. Yay, we are hearing that. It's a rumor though, I mean. And it's probably because like they, they want to be a lot more profitable and they want to make a lot more money, which is understandable, I guess. I've got nowhere to go back to, Herman. What? Uh, this one is called Chordosis? Chordosis? How you pronounce that? I mean, bruh. bruh. Hey, yo, what? You did the video that? Oh, no, it's, it was supposed to happen. Okay. So, it's gonna be Alien Survival. Oh, shit! Yo! Oh, shit. Guys, if you did not know, I have a channel for alien content, which is called Scary X. Like my channel, Skizzle X, but I shortened it to Skizzle only. It's called Scary X. Um... This might actually be good. Okay, I'm intrigued right now. Especially the way it started, though. Yeah! Is it alien survival or horror survival? Or alien horror? I guess both, maybe, right? Oh my goodness. Yo, I'm intrigued by this game. Okay. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Holy... Holy crap, bro. Okay, so handcrafted by... Um, man, come on, man. Let it let it be there for, like, at least two seconds. Bro, I couldn't even read it, bro. Just for that, I gotta... But the game looks good. The game, honestly, very intriguing. But, but, but come on, man. Why? Why every time? Beneath PS5, Xbox, PC 2024. Why every time there's a game that looks good? And we barely see nothing, bro. Barely. We, come on, man. Yeah, guys, come on, man. You give it, give it, give it your all, bro. Holy. So we underwater right now. Dead shark, dead megalodon, probably. No way out. Another horror. Not necessarily, but possibly. Yeah, okay. Another zombie game. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> another one. We we're getting a ton of these. Has just begun. Yeah, damn. Not bad. Not bad. Discovered the heart. That. I would say trailer done good. Trailer done well. It intrigues. Background music tries good. It's looking like 30 FPS, bro. Like, and it's coming out on PS5 as well. So glory to the heroes. Mega lol. Yeah, this one is definitely 30 FPS, bro. <laughs> yeah, I love the the way the weapon kicks. Actually, I, I do like that. I do like that. Graphically, mm, not the best. Not the worst either, but... Man, at one point it was feeling like 15 FPS. Right now it feels like 30 FPS. Man, like... Bruh. Bruh. Thoughts, chat? Thoughts, guys? Squad-based combat. Yeah, it is 30 FPS. Rips. <laughs> I can feel the lag, you know? I can feel the lag through the... Okay, is this the same game or new? Oh, it's the same game. Yeah. Dude, dude. Yeah, this is how you run. <laughs> Cannot even see, like, in front of your eyes. You're like Story that. Story of Squadron 42 takes you through a variety Squadron of diverse 42? locations. DC of only? Scales and styles. Man, I just caught the erect all this one. Environments bro. before. And there's still plenty out there for you to discover. So it's basically like the Starfield. One of the main challenges the art team has had to face Star. during the development of Squadron 42 is ensuring the visuals are complementary to the What about the, the top three games, script. man? I want to know the top three right now. Right the now, mood bro, right and now. feeling of a space is just as important to us as it is making sure we hit the visual quality that CIG has become known for. No oh, good. We can't hack it from this side. Graves, we've got a locked door. Can you give us access? No, I'm afraid that's a negative, Steve. Uh, 
Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. You see during the campaign <laughs> has been heavily inspired by the classics of 70s and 80s right. sci-fi, okay. but with a modern twist. We want everything you see to feel like it has a soul, its own personality, and tells of a history long before you arrived. Damn, this is looking like a better Starfield, not gonna lie, guys. I know some, some people are gonna get mad, but... And they're connecting tissue. It's, it's just video game opinions, guys. Don't, challenges we've don't take it too serious. For squadron. Developing Most of you don't, but, you know, for one guy, for one guy. Between tighter traversal spaces and into wider space vistas and planets, has proved incredibly difficult but rewarding. Ensuring that Squadron flows seamlessly from one chapter to the next, without interruption. Creating a diverse array of locations is essential to us. Our environments need to work from a variety of scales. We need to pay close attention to detail, whether we're working uh -huh. in a dirty engineering vent, or navigating the debris of a dying star, wondering mm. what may be around that next corner or even who may live there. They have survived, and what state of mind may they be in? Our new and improved FPS radar and scanner that provides you an overview of the battlefield, but Is at the cost of ramping up your own oh, no, emissions. Same, okay. We've also seen the introduction of our Maelstrom-powered destructible environment, which adds a layer of dynamism to the experience alongside our improved AI that can now have hundreds of combinations of traits that allow us to create unique and challenging combat encounters that really push your tactical awareness and skill. Yeah, yeah so far kind of meh, honestly. Thoughts? Am I being toxic or, or realistic? Yeah, kind of meh, honestly. Kind of bad. Yeah, we're gonna give it clown. We're gonna give it clown horn. Next. <laughs> oh, Bumblecloud. So this is the body cam footage you have you saw. Oh shit! Okay, so this is a new gameplay? Outside. Okay, I did not see this. Before. Dead? Dead? Ah, oh, where's the oh, shipette then? Combat, uh, this Combat uh, At the top, he's here. Sorry, I ain't see you. Bonjour. <laughs> Merci, monsieur. Ah, where's the shipette then? Calis. Ah, where's the shipette then? Ah, uh, Max, it's through the scale. Oh, he means to say down the stairs. Or stairs. Downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Yes, you see what? I'll Guys, I speak Francais. Nice. I speak Francais, okay? Oh, I killed him. No, I did ask you, actually. I'm in Montreal, so I went to a French school. <laughs> Not even joking. Vous êtes fumé la kitchen? Vive in the kitchen! He might be in the kitchen! Running in the kitchen! Coming up. Dead. Luca, Luca for you. Coming behind. First floor. <laughs> First floor behind me. <laughs> These are yes. toxic gamers, bro. Yep. Death. Dead. 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 Je serais pas toujours là. Ah, c'est pas toujours là, hein. Dead. Dead. Okay. Coming. Coming. Coming, monsieur. Coming, my brother. Your game is really good. Honestly, I like it. Uh, this is, if I'm not mistaken, this is from that. The same body cam game. Kitchen. Kitchen. Kitchen, okay. Kitchen, okay. Dining room, dining room. Looking towards whoever went down the hallway. He's in dining room. Dead. Dead. Yo, the these guys guy. got like uh, one quote only. Bezo. Just one line. Ah, uh, tu que te donne un bisou? Okay, I did not. This is my first time watching this uh, gameplay. It's good that they revealed this gameplay as well for the game. And I really hope it comes out. Looks good. Honestly, looks good. Can be fun. It's more like, I, I, you know, it's a. Uh, I love search and destroy in Call of Duty, so this is what it gives me. It gives me that vibe and but on a very realistic way. Love it. Oh my goodness. Sadly PC only, but but I gotta say it's good. The skies are always shaded with a cloud cover out here. Trend signs, another PC. Man, it's some moment about the future. Holy. Nothing kinda puzzling good. about it at all. Look kinda Omen good. And the wrath of God are just coping explanations to simple matters. Yeah, if it's the on PC, we coping though. Because we're all swimming in the modern American dream out here. Okay. Tons of ambition, a little mm. greed here and there, mm. a little crime, a lot of organization. Yeah. Business this side of the dime eventually becomes more about taking the right jobs rather than simply staying alive. True. But no one is safe from an accountant. Oh, okay, well. 
all of this hive just to kill one guy there, bro. Come on, man. But, uh, graphically speaking, good. Guns, good. I mean, let's be real, right? Like, if you're gonna F up the guns in an FPS game, then... Then, then you literally F up your entire game. That's the, that's the main thing you need to nail. You need to nail the weapons down. So you cannot F up on the weapons. And secondly, I would say maps. Graphics are important for FPS games, I would say that. 60 FPS, important for that as well. If you got single player, then yeah, you gotta have good story. So this one is called Delta Force. Yay, this one. 2024 PS5, Xbox, PC. Yeah, I would say this can come close to Call of Duty. So far, this is the only game that we had on the list that can come close to Call of Duty. And attracting some Call of Duty refugee. Not all. Not all. 1993 to... By 2035... 2035, We have okay. formed a new breed of elite special forces who are better prepared to manage these latest threats to our global societies. No fear... I think it got no specialists. Retreat. Thoughts on specialists real quick, guys? Love it, hate it, or getting bored of them? You feel like that in some games, alright, but not all? Because I do miss uh, I do miss the factions, uh, honestly. Especially, like, Battlefield. Uh, you know the older Battlefield games we used to have? Let me actually lower the volume down just for a little bit. Uh, in the older Battlefield games, especially Battlefield 3, I remember it was, like, US versus Russia, and you, you would see the, the uniform and... It felt, it gave you that real military feel. Even though the game wasn't realistic, but it had realism and fun. It, it balanced that aspect very, very well. And, and, the, and the factions really added a lot to the immersion, uh, especially with the uniforms and... Space was my second home. Moon Mystery? Oh, my we got Starfield 5, man. boys. Starfield 5. <laughs> I was the hero for my nation. Okay. For my family. Oh, damn. That mission was different. Everything I loved was gone. Yeah, Starfield 5, boys. They took the it The Martians me. are here. Lock yourselves in the basement, brothers. I had to fight. To defend the galaxy. From the others. I'm not clown horning the game, but just the saying that I gotta, I gotta save the galaxy, you know, on that. Bro, the galaxy so big. My bro, name you is cannot. Sam Walker, and I want my life back. Oh damn! Yo, big interstellar vibes there, especially with that big inter Neo Berlin. Neo Berlin. Yeah, I heard about 2087. it. 2087. 2087. 2024. We're all fighting to take control over the city. So Inside the New Berlin PC. Wall, the corporations control everything. The elites live in luxury. Rebels try to destroy it all. And the rest just fights to survive. The nightmares keep getting worse. Terrifying dreams become reality. Oh, yeah? The police chief has been murdered. I'm Special Investigator Nolan. I have to track down his daughter, Natalie. She saw what happened. Oh, yeah. Whatever she knows must be big. A journey to save her. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, a little bit of Whoever's Detroit Whoever's responsible wives, doesn't want this to be solved. Detroit become human? Followed, Just a targeted. Bit. The truth is always a threat when corruption is in control. Maybe I can stop this city from falling into chaos. Maybe. 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 Probably not. Probably not. I, I did us need a game that is like Detroit become human though. Um, and if you guys played Heavy Rain, Detroit Become Human was made by the same dev team, right? Uh, I, I want a new game from them. I'm, I'm assuming they're working on something, but it's been years. Uh, is this game coming out from them? I don't know. Got that cyberpunk vibe as well. Not bad, but it's like... I don't know, man. I don't feel this game in terms of like an FPS game. I feel, You know what I mean, right? Like... How do you save humanity? You don't, bro. If no one's fully human. Just release GTSX, bro. You're gonna save humanity. Near Berlin 2087. 
Man had that, that, that Elon must look to it as well. Hey, yo, what? Multiple times by its creators, which Metro are for a games, and they're really proud of what they're creating and cannot wait to see our reactions to the new environments that we're gonna explore and the new story coming with it. According to Tom Anderson, this next Metro game is already fully playable in its entirety, which is massive oh, news shit. because not only does it mean the devs have already gone into the technical side of things for Yo, Metro was huge back then. Means this Metro could release ways. Yep, like and subscribe, boys, like and subscribe. 24, for example, but who knows. Tom even shared what seemed to be the very first details of the game, saying that the game starts the player off in a dream sequence, like in the classic Metro games, where you'll then wake up at your base of operations and meet wow. the crew, and then go on to explore this new base, where you can find merchants, you can you can buy things and such. The gameplay is said to follow the classic Metro formula of stealth, crafting, looting resources, and more, and will have you explore different environments, never Ever seen before in the series and realistic monsters that will make our skin yeah honestly there's one game throughout the entire delta force that gives call of duty a little bit of the channel challenge but none of them is gonna attract any any call of duty refugee and that's so that's fine but some of them are really good i would say pioneer was the best guys click on this video on the screen this is the last episode we've done and we had a ton of different kind of games in this video check this out and i will see you right there